Yo, how's it going guys? Exable here and we are back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run multiple Roblox accounts on the exact same PC. Now we did make a video like this previously, but in that video I was getting a ton of questions like why does one of my Roblox accounts close when I open up another one and can I run this if I don't have a private server? And when I made the video, I had no answers to your questions because I myself was new to using Roblox account manager, but today Hopefully I went in depth enough for you guys to fully understand exactly what is going on. Now I will say this is a pretty lengthy video, but hopefully it teaches you guys exactly how to use it and there isn't many questions. But again, if there is, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. But without other way guys, hopefully you enjoy today's video. Okay guys, so starting off, you're going to open up any web browser that you like to use. I myself like to use google chrome so that's what we're going to be using for today so just open up your web browser like so and then you're going to go to roblox account manager this will be linked in the description so you don't have to go here yourself but if you'd rather follow along you're more than welcome to so go to roblox account manager click right here on the github and then once you're clicked on here you're going to see releases then roblox account manager 3.5 so click that and then down here where it says assets, you're going to click Roblox account manager 3.5.zip. That's what we're going to be downloading. So once you have it downloaded and you can see it down here, just kind of minimize the screen. And if you're using Chrome and it says keep or discard, be sure to click keep so that you can actually get the folder here. Now simply take hold on the folder with your click and drag it onto your screen. And we can pull this to the side. Also, while you're on your screen, on your desktop screen, right click, go to new, and go to folder. Now this folder can be named whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to name it Roblox Account Manager, like so. And again, you can name this whatever you want it to be named. It does not matter. Then simply open up the folder that we just downloaded. So hold, hold your click and drag. Highlight both of these. Click Extract All. And once you have clicked Extract All, this little window right here is going to pop up. And click Browse. Go over here to Desktop. Go to Roblox Account Man or whatever you named the folder. It does not matter. Click on it and then click select folder and then click extract. So now these two files have extracted to the new folder that you have made. Now you can close everything. You can also delete the folder that downloaded here. We are officially done with it as well. So now what we're going to do on Google, so be sure to open this back up. We're going to open up a new tab. We're going to go to GS Auto Clicker. Again, this will be linked in the description. So you're going to go here. And you're going to go for the one with the little star on it. Make sure you pay attention to what you're clicking. Click the one with the star, click right here on it. So here's gonna load for a second. Click free download. Again, make sure you pay attention because this one right here gets recommended first. You're going to click the one with the star, star logo. We click free download. Give it a second, it's going to start downloading. And then you can see down here, it asks you if you wanna keep, just be sure to click keep. And then we have GS Auto Clicker, so we can go ahead and open that if, as well. When you open it, it's gonna look like this. So we, I'm just going to throw this to the other side for now. So now that we have that done, go back to the folder that you have put your files in. Open it up. You can see Roblox Alt Manager and then Auto Update. Simply click on the Alt Manager. Double click on it. Now this is where people get sketched out and they think it's a virus. But I can assure you that it is not. Because this is what I personally use all the time. And I've never had any problems with it. So I wouldn't think that you guys would either. So all you have to do is click More Info and then click Run Anyway. Once you click that, it's going to ask you, do you want to allow the app? Just click yes. Then you're going to see this extracting. That's going to update and download all of this. So if you see this, you can just click yes. And then you can also just click OK with this. I have a bigger monitor screen than the standard monitor size. So that's why I get that. So you, you probably won't even see that. So now that you have everything downloaded, and this is what you're going to have, the Roblox account manager. So I just want to show this really quick in case anyone was curious. You can click right here, edit theme. And once you click that, you can change all of the colors. So like for example, the accounts, you can click set background. And then you can, you know, maybe click this blue color, then click OK. Then it'll change the color of the background here. But I like the darker, like black color. So I'm just going to go back to, that's purple. Uh, let's go back here to the black. Okay, anyways, that's how you can change the colors if you want to mess around and make it look uh, unique to whatever you like. But with that out of the way, go here to Add Account. Once you click Add Account, 
It's going to tell you to log into Roblox. So simply log in with whatever accounts you have. For today's video, we're only going to be using two accounts, but again, you can use as many as you want. Uh, on my main accounts, when I actually AFK, I like to use upwards to 10, sometimes even 15 accounts. The max I do is 17. So again, it really doesn't matter as long as your PC can handle it. You can run as many as you want. So here's our first account. We're going to add another account. This is how you're going to add all of your accounts you want to add. So again, just make sure you add all of your accounts that you are going to want to AFK. So once you get them both logged in, you should be on a screen that looks like something like this. So now all we have to do is go back to Chrome, go to Roblox, and then you're going to find the game that you're going to want to play. So for today's example, I'm going to be playing Free Hatchers. Just hop in whatever game again. Then I'm going to go to Free Hatchers. And then I'm going to click on their logo. So once you're here on this screen, you're going to see up here at the top, roblox.com slash games, and then this number. On this number, double click on the number, right click, click copy. Now go back to your uh, Roblox account manager and hold in shift. And when you hold in shift, click on both of your accounts. If you're going to put these on the same game, then delete that place ID and click control and V on your keyboard, which now make the ID uh, be for free hatchers. Then you're going to click save. Now a question I got last video is, can I do this if I don't have a private server? And for this example, this game does have private servers, but if this was a game that does not have private servers or it costs Robux, you don't want to pay for them. All you have to do is click this little uh, settings icon over here on the side and then go over here. Uh, you can click shuffle, chooses lowest server, turn that on. And I also like to turn this on. So this is for if your game does not, you know, if the server costs money and you don't want to pay for it, this will put you into a public server. So just be sure to turn that on if you need it. But again, for today's example, we do have private servers. So go on back to the game that you're loading if it has a private server. You can see right here, we have this one. Click on it, click configure, then get the link to the server. If you don't have one, just click generate up here. And then again, hold in shift, click on both of your accounts, control and V into the job ID for the link and then click save. And then we're going to click, you can, you can do it both at the same time or you can do one at a time. I do one at a time because sometimes it doesn't load. But once you start loading them in, I'll pull them over, it's opening up Oh, there it is. So there's the first account. And then you can click over here, click on the second account and click join. You can see here's the second account. And I myself like to line these accounts up like so, with there just being a little bit of space between this little box here. And I like to turn off this screen like that. That's how I like to set my accounts up. And if I had like five accounts, I would just keep going down the line, setting them up, stacking them like this. Go ahead and close that out. And we can also close this thing right here down. So a quick tip, if you're running multiple accounts, you have to make sure that you open this up first before you open up any account, because if you don't, your tabs will start closing by themselves. And that's how you fix that issue from happening is you make sure you open up this right here first before having any Roblox accounts opened up in the background. And if it proceeds to keep doing that, be sure to follow back on the video. Make sure you followed everything correctly. If it still proceeds to do that, just restart your PC and try again, because I've never really had that issue, but I would pretty sure that would fix it if you are having that issue, because I've had it like once or twice, but not as many times as you guys have said that you've had it. So that's what I would do is I would just close this down and then close everything and then reopen it and it would start working for me. Anyways, now you're going to go back to the GS auto clicker that you downloaded. Now that you have both of your accounts up. You can see we're both in the exact same server here, both of the accounts that I put on. And we're going to start by going to Options, clicking and Options. Once you're under this, very crucial that you have it set to double click, then left up here, and just click OK. Options, clicking, repeat. Now, this is where it's going to vary depending on what kind of PC you have. If you have a pretty good PC, you can make it even lower than 30 milliseconds, but I like to set it at about 30 milliseconds. And you can go higher if you need to, because it takes 20 minutes for Roblox to kick you. But the sweet spot for me has always been 30 milliseconds for me not to get kicked. So that's where I put mine. And click OK. Go to recording. Then go to multiple clicks. This is where you're going to set your actual clicks. 
you're going to clear this. Yes. Pick a point. If you set your cones up like me, I like to put it right here. And then pick a point again and then put it, you know, where the screen is underneath. Then click OK. Then simply just click OK. And then whatever key bond you have set, which for me is this slash here, I'm going to click slash and you can see it starts clicking back and forth where we picked our points. And it's going to keep you from getting kicked. Um, another setting is to make sure you go here to your settings. You can change the hotkey, so whatever button you want to put. If you go to view, that doesn't really do much, so don't worry about that. And settings, other. Make sure you have it set here to idle. Make sure that's where it's set. And you can also put display balloon tip if you would like. That doesn't really matter, I don't think. But just make sure you have it uh, on click complete, complete idle. So that is good there. Okay, guys, so that is going to be it for me. Hopefully, this was a little bit more in-depth and you guys understood what is actually going on in this video a little bit better. Because in the last one, we were kind of, we had two methods up. And I'm sure that was confusing. But this is the one true method that I stand behind that has not failed me since the last video that I made. It's been working flawlessly for me personally. And if you guys follow along, I'm sure it will work the exact same for you. Just make sure that you follow along with everything that I said and do it exactly as I did it. Because again, if you open up an account first before opening a uh, Roblox account manager, it will start being a little glitchy. And if that does happen, just be sure to close everything, including this, and then make sure this is the first thing that you open. Another little quick tip is that once you have all of your accounts up and running, you can minimize this right here. Do not exit. Minimize it like this so that it runs in the background. You can turn on your auto clicker and it will click like so. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me. Hopefully today's video helped again. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.